This edition of Mac Voices is supported by you, our viewers and listeners, through our new Patreon campaign. If you get value from Mac Voices, please consider helping support the show by visiting patreon.com slash macvoices. Mac Voices is in Las Vegas for CES and Pepcom. I'm Chuck Joyner. I'm in the Aura Frames booth talking to Jonathan about Aura Frames and what makes them so special. Jonathan, it's good to see you. Nice to see you, Chuck. So tell me about Aura Frames. So Aura Frames, the, the premise behind it was we have lots and lots of photos. We have Samsung, Google, and Apple have done a great job of creating an amazing camera. All of your photos are trapped on here. How do you get them into your home and environment? And you know, we ha- remember the digital frames of the past, and they came out, it was a good idea, but it was clunky, and then they just went cheap and plastic and something you really didn't want to have in your home. So the premise behind this is actually have a beautiful screen that you would want to have in your home, take the technology that's given to us with apps and always connected, and a Wi-Fi, and have a beautifully designed styled frame in your home so you can all have all the pictures you want anywhere you want anytime automatically yeah, that's one of the things that drew me in because the the screens and we'll talk about the details in a minute the screens are gorgeous the designs look very traditional I mean I, I gave up on my photo frames a long time ago just for your very point the resolution was terrible I could say yes there's my picture but I never wanted to look at it because it looked terrible. And now with our new phones, the resolution is so much better. The resolution's better, and this is an Ultra HD screen, so it's actually something you would want to have. There's no pixels in there. You can't see a pixel. And remember the hassle? You had an SD card. You had to remember, like, which one are you going to do? How are you going to update it? Well, we have these always connected phones with these apps now. So now we can just grab them. We have uh, auto, uh, auto curation. So we'll grab the photos that you want and then send them to whichever frame you want. So for example, my mom has a frame in Colorado. I take pictures of my kids. They automatically go to my mom's frame. I don't have to send her an SD card. I don't have to do anything. I set it up once and it's done. Okay. So how much capacity do these, do, do these frames have? Unlimited capacity, it's free. So we grab everything off your phone and we store it up in the cloud for free. And then we just take the photos that you want to which frame, wherever, automatically and free, no charge at all. Okay, now I'm, I'm a little scared, all right, because first of all, you say free, and you say unlimited, and every time any of us do unlimited things, six months from then, they change the rules. So how unlimited is, is unlimited? Unlimited is unlimited. We have millions of assets up in our cloud right now, and the plan is not to charge for those, ever. So that, that's not where we're going at all. We, we believe in having a beautifully designed frame that your content, your assets, your photos should be able to be shown onto your device anytime. Okay, so the next thing. Now I'm giving you my photos to store so I can display them. Do I need to be worried about the fa- that, the fact that you have my photos? No, they're, they're fully encrypted. You have a copy of it. We don't take anything. We're not grabbing them off your phone and stripping them off your phone. You still have a copy on your phone. And if you're using Google Photos or iCloud, or, they're backed up on there as well. So you have multiple versions of your photos. Right, but, I, but I'm, you said it. They're encrypted. That's My concern is not that you're taking my photos, it's just that you're holding copies of my photos. And there may be things up there that I would rather not... I, I would be okay just displaying in my home, but maybe not on the Internet. Well, so what's really interesting is they're not on the Internet. This is a private network, so it's only within your network. We actually also have advanced... Uh, AI, where we go out and we strip out the the maybe the naughty photos that you have. We actually purchased 6,000 amateur porn photos, and we trained our AI to discern this is a beach photo, this is not a beach photo. So we've automatically trained that. And we also have lots of whiteboard pictures, right, in our phone. We strip those out automatically, too. So with our advanced curation, we actually grab photos, we do facial recognition and grab the photos that you want of your family and your children or whatever, and we'll primarily focus on those. We also do pets as well, which is kind of cool. Uh, you mean you curate the pets? We curate the pets as well. Wow, okay. Must have been a tough job there purchasing all that amateur porn to uh, do yeah, the... Yeah, I don't know who got to do that job. <laughs> yeah, I'm not even going to ask. <laughs> So how long have you been around? So the company, the product's been in the market for two years, two holidays. Um, and this holiday, we actually completely sold out. So we had a really good run. Um, we're just essentially really relaunching the company. Two of the founders were early on at Twitter. 
Um, in fact, one of them actually trended the, or coined the term trending. Wow. So he is the godfather of trending. That's, that's not a bad credential. No. And then I came on just recently. Most recently, I, I ran for the last seven years, I ran field, field sales and operations at GoPro. So built the business up from about 19 million to a billion six. And I see this as an even bigger opportunity because we all have thousands of photos that we would love to share with ourselves and our loved ones that are, they're really not. They're trapped on your phone. And you don't want to put a crappy looking frame in your home. We have nice homes. It's a big investment, something we care about. So we want to care about that with our customers. And as much as I love showing my photos on my big screen, I want to use my big screen for other things. And this can sit on the table or the coffee table or wherever, and it's perfect. Yeah, and it's designed to be sort of a slow burn, right? We're so used to swiping, you know, Instagram and Facebook, what's happening, what's happening. But it's really nice when you look and we have smart smart frames so you leave the room and you come back and it's a new image on there so this is more of a slow burn so you come back in and you look at your frame and it just brings you back to a very happy place what um what kind of controls do you have for the displays i mean do you set the number of seconds or can i just pick one photo and that's it yeah you can, yeah you can do number of seconds you can do uh one photo if you want or you could do unlimited and what we have we call it smart setting so we actually have uh, sensors in the frame itself that notices when a human leaves a room and comes back in and will change. Um, additionally, the frame is smart, so it will dim. So if you have one in your media room and you're watching a movie, you don't have this bright screen showing at you, it dims down, and if you turn off the lights, the frame turns off as well. Very nice. And I can't stress enough just how attractive these frames are. They look like something that you would go to a home goods store and pick up. They don't look like something you'd go to the computer store and pick up. No, no, no. This is all designed to really fit within your design and lifestyle of your home. If you think about it, home is one of your highest investments, and we all spend a lot of time in our home, and it's important to us, and you need to have something that fits into your lifestyle and your decor. And we've gone down to the very smallest detail of, you know, having a, a lampshade cord where this is something, you know, it's not a cheap piece of plastic. It's actually wrapped and it's something you'd want in your home and you'd feel good about. Um, I should mention, though, these do have to be plugged in. Is that correct? They do. Yes, they do have to be plugged in. They are powered. Um, and then you connect it to your home Wi-Fi one time and then you're up and you're good to go. I actually see that as an advantage because it's it's one less battery I have to check. One less thing that I walk in my house and, oh, the, the frame is out again. i got to go find the right battery. Right. So I love that. Or you have to find an empty plug because something is not charged, right? Yeah. And so this, again, it's designed to sort of set it and look at it and make you happy every day. What kind of pricing do we have for these? So the Jonathan Adler, which is a limited edition frame, is $399. Our, our other frames are $299 and the website where folks can go to see them. Giveaura.com. Jonathan, thank you so much. Thank you, appreciate it. Folks, we'll have more from CES and Pepcom in Las Vegas. I'm Chuck Joyner. Thanks for watching. Visit macvoices.com for show notes and to connect with Chuck on social media. Get involved in our Mac Voices Facebook group and get more out of your Apple tech with Mac Voices Magazine, free on Flipboard. And if you find value in it all, Consider supporting us at patreon.com slash macvoices and join these folks who help keep Mac Voices coming to you. Advertising handled by Backbeat Media at backbeatmedia.com. Bandwidth provided by Cashfly at cashfly.com.